All right, guys. Uh, in this little webinar, I want to explain to you when to use NL filter versus link equals as a method of filtering on data from two separate tables. Now, the place to get started is to ask yourself, am I going from one to many or many to one? If you're going to one to many, you'll use a link equals. And if you're going to many to one, you'll use an NL filter. All right, so give me an example. Um, one example might be, I want a list of customers who had transactions last year. Now, the classic way um, that we teach beginning report writers how to make a list of customers who had transactions last year would be to say, make a list in rows from the customer ledger entry table. You're going to make a list of customer numbers, right? This is a summary list. And then filter where the posting date is, you know, whatever your filter criteria are. And that works. It's, it's a great method for getting it done. Um, but I would say it's not super efficient. And let's talk about the way it's not super efficient. Let's say hypothetically, I'm a really massive company, I have 5 million uh, transactions a month, no, a year, I don't know, I have 5 million transactions. So if I look at my customer ledger entry table um, and I look at the customer numbers, I get, you know, A, B, C, A, Z, D, F, A, A, B, B, C. Okay. And this goes on ad nauseum for 5 million records. In order to assemble the valid list of customers, I have to start at the top and I have to say, okay, A, are you in my valid list? Nope, not yet. So I add you. What about B? Nope, not yet. What about C? Nope, not yet. What about A? Uh, yeah. What about Z? Nope. D, F, A, yeah, A, yeah, B, yeah, 5 million records, C, yeah. You literally have to check 5 million records against your valid list in order to end up with the list of customers who had transactions last year. Um, this is the summary list model, right? This is the NL rows, customer ledger entry, make a list of customer numbers. And again, you have to check 5 million records. I'd say that's horrible. If you had to do that by hand, you would hate your job, right? 5 million records. What if you could start at the master table? What if you could start at the customer table and build a bridge from the customer table to the transaction table? and just say, OK, how many customers do I have? I have 26 customers. I have 26 customers. And I just need to check each customer one time to see if they're in this list of 5 million. So customer A, are you in 5 million? Yep. What about customer B? Yep. C? Yep. D? Yep. E? No. F? Yep. G, no, ad nauseum, Z, yes. If I think about it, how many times did I have to check customer A? I only check them one time because they're in the master table only one time. I have a one to many relationship between the master and the transaction table. I only have to check 26 records to see if they exist just one time in my set of 5 million, and then I can stop and move on to the next customer. So this is a super fast, significantly faster way of creating my summary list of customers who had transactions last year. And again, in, you know, in, pseudo, in Jet, what you would say is, OK, I'll make a list in rows. Instead of going to the customer ledger, I'll go to the customer table, I'll make a list of customer numbers, and then I'll build a bridge, I'll build that link equals, oh, sorry, not that one, not that one, I'll build my link equals to the customer ledger, and now I just have to say, what is the common field between the customer ledger and the customer table? What am I comparing? I'm obviously comparing the you know customer number in the customer ledger with the number field in the customer table. And then, of course, you add your filters, posting date, and so on. 
Okay, so that's link equals, where you go from a one to a many. Now, what if you can't go from one to many? What if you have to start at your five million table? Let's say hypothetically, <clears throat> let me copy this section over here. Let's say hypothetically, I'm trying to assemble a list of posting dates. The posting date is in the five million table, so I have to work with the transaction table. And I only want posting dates of customers whose payment terms are 30. So I have my list of 26 customers. What are your payment terms? Oh, 15 days, 15 days, 30 days, 30 days, uh, 90 days, 30 days, 15 days, ad nauseum, no payment terms. OK. What smart money does is smart money says, OK, at the end of the day, I don't want to build a bridge from 5 million. I don't want to do a link equals from the 5 million table backwards to the master table. I don't want to do that because I don't want to have to check. I don't want to ask, is customer, what are the payment terms of customer A? One, two, three, four, five million times. I don't want to ask, what are your payment terms five million times? Wouldn't you, be, uh, <laughs> wouldn't you find it obnoxious if somebody asks you the same question five million times? So instead, I'll say, hey, no, 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 don't ask five million times. Just make a list of valid, valid customers. So who has the payment terms? Well, customer C has the payment terms, customer D has the payment terms, and customer F has the payment terms. And then I'll take this list of valid customers and just say, OK, now let's filter this table. So you know, I've got transaction 1, transaction 2, transaction 3, and all of them in between. But this is a faster way of saying, let's shrink this list to only customer C, D, and F. And again, this technique is going to look something along the lines of, I'll, make, I'll start by making an NL filter from the customer table. What am I making a list of? I need a list of customer numbers where the payment terms are 30. That's what I need. So this NL filter right here, this mess, represents my array of valid customers. Then what I'll do is I'll say, OK, now make a list in rows from the customer ledger entry of posting dates. Which posting dates do I want? I only want posting dates that were last year. And I only want posting, or I only want transactions belonging to customer numbers in my valid list. So basically, I only want customer C, D, and F. And that, in a nutshell, is how you'll use um, NL filter or link equals. Um, and again, it just depends on, are you going from the one to many or many to one?